Now, of course, let's move on to this, our next top story, Vivo once again. And we have been saying that this is a company that is taking innovation very seriously. The last five or six phones they've come out with, even at the higher order in terms of the chain value of the phone, have been very, very innovative. Others are doing a big catch up to Vivo. And once again, that gets proven because at this price point for the Vivo V15 Pro, they have absolutely and totally done a slam dunk. So what all does it have? Even before I take it out, I want to tell you about it. So the first thing that you're going to really see that is very interesting with this phone are a triple camera set up at the back. Now, this, I think, is a very interesting thing to do in the V series. If this was the next series, I would understand. But in the V series, this is a game changer. Then, of course, is the kind of optics they've put in. 48 megapixel at the back and then the pop-out camera, which I'm just going to show you right now. There, it pops out and then pops back in. Now, again, in the V series, to bring in something which was their flagship level feature, I think is great. And then the front camera is 32 megapixel. Now, once again, of course, the megapixel is not such a big deal. Everything else they put in, of course, is. So 48 megapixel at the back, 32 megapixel front, obviously the in-display fingerprint scanner. Very nice. The bezel has been reduced even further. The battery life is great. Let's take a look at our review. Like I said, at this price point, this is Vivo really getting aggressive. A triple rear camera with AI prowess, an in-display fingerprint sensor, a processor which rarely disappoints, and the pop-up star of the show, a 32 megapixel pop-up selfie camera. You may expect all this in a phone above 40,000 rupees and call it a great buy. But this phone, the Vivo V15 Pro, is offering all this for much lesser. Here is our review. We've pretty much seen all different kinds of blue, but this Topaz blue variant looks very attractive too. No notch on this big screen thanks to the pop-up selfie camera, more on that later. The design is sleek and premium, the in-display fingerprint scanner works well and unlocks pretty fast. The phone is comfortable to hold in one hand and there is a 3.5mm audio jack on top as well. There is a 6.39 inch Full HD Plus screen which is vivid and watching videos is a delight. The vibrant display stands out even in daylight. Powering this blue beauty is Qualcomm's all-new Snapdragon 675 chipset which provides quite a decent experience though it isn't a top-of-the-line processor. We tried gaming and multitasking and had no complaints. The phone is paired with 6GB RAM and 128GB of internal storage. 675 brings quite a few of the firsts which I'm very glad to say here. It brings the cryo 4th generation CPU which was probably the first time we are bringing it here at a 600 series. So what does a consumer get not going into the jargons of the fourth generation uh, cryo CPU or the sixth generation, the most advanced Adreno GPU. What we want to say, if it translates for the consumer, it means three things. It means that if they are, the consumer is a gaming consumer, they're going to see a totally total Uber experience coming out of it. In terms of camera, it would probably exemplify the experiences of camera and some of them you saw today on V15 Pro that are derived riding on the heart and the optimization that we have done on V15 Pro. And of course the AI. The Vivo V15 Pro runs FunTouch OS 9 on top of Android 9 Pi. So that's the most recent Android update at under 30,000 rupees. Vivo deserves a pat on the back for this, but we have to admit that FunTouch OS takes a while to get accustomed to. Since despite Android 9, the experience here isn't that of an Android phone, which may be a deal breaker for many. There are plenty of preloaded apps as well, so that leads to bloatware. The phone comes with a rather underwhelming 3700 mAh battery which may not impress those of us for whom 4000 mAh is the new normal. While it lasted us a day of decent usage, gaming causes the battery to drain much faster. Pop goes the selfie. Yes, the pop star is a 32 megapixel selfie camera which offers decent images though a little whitewashed. Let's just say you look like a porcelain beauty no matter what you do. I clicked plenty of selfies and they all made me look as flawless as possible. The pop-up mechanism works pretty fast and may be better than the Vivo Nex. On the back, you get a triple rear AI camera, a 5 megapixel depth sensing camera, an 8 megapixel wide angle, and a 48 megapixel primary sensor. The Sony sensor on the primary camera gives very detailed shots outdoors. The AI engine works well, and most images have great color and detail because of the triple camera setup. And now, drum roll please, because price is what makes this Vivo a pop star. The Vivo V15 Pro is priced at Rs 28,990 for 6GB RAM. Let's find out a little more from the company. 
when we launched the Vivo Nex uh, globally and in India, the pop-up camera got rave reviews. Uh, and uh, with the V15 uh, Pro, we were thinking, you know, what's that one feature which our consumers really want? And all of them said pop-up camera you know, is an innovation, is something we really you know, want in our phones. With the V-series, that's what we've done, uh, whether it's the V9, the V11 Pro, and even now the V15 Pro. Uh, we wanted one thing, which is to surprise our consumers, both with the product as well as the whole proposition. Uh, and with that 28,990, I think the proposition is very sweet for our consumers. The Cell Guru verdict. The Vivo V15 Pro wins our hearts with its gorgeous display, which is great for content consumption. Its camera setup will impress you, especially if you like flawless images for social media. The price makes the phone pretty attractive for a wider audience, and the pop-up selfie camera is an innovation that will appeal to many millennials.